Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to extend the display of your Windows 10 or 11 computer, laptop, PC, whatever, to your Samsung Galaxy tablet. So right now, this display has been extended to the Samsung Galaxy tablet that I have right here. This is a Tab S9 Ultra, but this is a wireless situation right here, and it is pretty amazing. You can see here I have the cursor, and if I just drag it over, it comes right over here. Okay, so drag over, drag over. I can control this from here. I can control this from here. The bottom line is I have two displays right now for increased productivity. So let me show you how to set this up. Now I do want to let you know that this feature works on any Windows 10 or 11 laptop. So it doesn't have to be a Samsung laptop. This happens to be a Samsung laptop, but over here I have a non-Samsung laptop that also works no problem if you follow the steps. And I do want to let you guys know real quick that this feature is only available on the Tab S7, S8, and S9 series, and your Windows PC must be running Windows 10 or 11, but it has to be higher than this version when it comes to Windows 10. Now make sure stick till the end of the video because I am going to show you guys a secret feature in relation to being able to extend your screen for from any Windows 10 or 11 laptop to a Samsung tablet. All right, so I just disconnected the display. So I'm going to show you guys step by step how to get it done. So the very first thing that you want to do is you want to go to Microsoft Store. Okay, you want to go to Microsoft Store, just type that in. It's going to bring it up. And I want you guys to download an application known as Samsung account. Now, if you have a Samsung laptop, Samsung Windows laptop, you're already going to have this application pre-installed. But if you don't have it, just search for Samsung account application on your other laptop and then simply install Samsung account. Once you install it, I want you guys to open it and I want you guys to log into it with your Samsung account. Now, what you want to make sure is that you log in with the same exact Samsung account that you have logged into on your Samsung Galaxy tablet. So this account has to match this account for everything to work perfectly in harmony. Now the next application that you wanna download is known as the second screen application, okay? By the way, I'm gonna show you guys a trick to use this display extension feature without the second screen, okay? But this is the most common way to do it. So install the second screen, and then once you have that, here's how easy it is. So you have logged into both of these products with your Samsung accounts. So all you do is you bring up the Samsung second screen application. So I'm going to click right here and look at what happens. It's just going to start to connect automatically. It just knows. Okay, so you look at this. So it is doing it right now and we are in fact good to go. That is the uh, transition there. And now we are extended over to this display. That is how simple the whole process is. Now, one more thing I'm going to show you guys is uh, if you have your tablet on this side or this side, what you can do is, for example, in my case, when I move the cursor this way, it just transitions over to this side. So if you want to set that up, let's say the tablet was sitting over here, maybe on the top somewhere mounted, then you want to make sure that you can just scroll up or this way. So for that, Again, you go to the second screen uh, application. Make sure this application keeps running because you can also disconnect using this button, okay? But what you want to do is you want to go over here where it says display settings. You click on it. That's going to open up the display settings and then you can identify the displays by tapping on identify. So if I tap on identify, look at what happens. It's going to, it is going to identify the displays one and two. So if you want to move this from here, to here, I just drag and drop it, okay? So now what's gonna happen is if the tablet was sitting over here, the mouse would transition to this side or the trackpad or the cursor, okay? I'm gonna have it on this side. That's the way I have it set it up. That's the way it works for me, okay? So one, two. Now once you're done, you simply click on apply, all right? And that's gonna apply these settings. Now that's one way to get it done. And also I wanna show you guys over here, you have the display mode. 
So you can either extend it or you can duplicate the display. You can duplicate the display from here to here if you want that. Or what you can do is you can only use the second screen. So this would get turned off and you would actually have the whole thing over here and you can use the keyboard and the trackpad over here. So you have those options, but of course the extend is the best option. Now, finally, I'm gonna show you guys a special secret where you can use this without the second screen, without the Samsung account. You still do need a compatible tablet like the Samsung Galaxy S7, S8, or S9, running One UI 3.1 or higher to get this done. But look at this, let's say I had no second screen app, or no Samsung account app on this laptop. And let's say the Samsung laptop was not even a Samsung laptop. All you do is you press the Windows uh, key and K at the same time, and that is gonna bring this available displays extension capability. And right now you can see it disappeared. What you have to do on the tablet is, look at this, right now it's not showing anything, right? So on the tablet, go to the settings, oops, right here, and then go to connected devices, and then go into second screen. As soon as you do that, okay, it's gonna pop up right here, okay, in a couple seconds. Look at that. So this is happening without the second screen option. I'm right here, I have this enabled. So now I'm gonna click this guy. Let's, let me just back up here, look at this. There we go. Same thing has happened as we did earlier. Now, I prefer using the second screen and a Samsung account for maximum compatibility, but you can use this as well. Now, if you use this method, again, if you wanna disconnect, press the key here and then press K, it's gonna bring this up and you are able to disconnect by tapping this disconnect button at the bottom right here. So let me show that to you. Click on disconnect. It is in fact disconnected. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day.